we want to in, to be able to ensure that when people go out of their way to protect donate water to the lake that they know that it's actually making it to the lake. I'm Ben Winslow at Ogden Bay. This technology is being installed to get better data about the Great Salt Lake and ensure that water that's conserved actually makes it to the lake. It's a new one that's being installed as part of a partnership with the Bureau of Reclamation and the state of Utah. Here on the North Fork of the Weber River, scientists have installed a new stream gauge. So you can have real-time <laughs> values that are a little bit high. It provides data on water flowing to the Great Salt Lake. We're thrilled with these new stream gauges because I think it helps us better understand how water moves through Great Salt Lake Basin. Um, without these measurements, we don't have an accurate account of how much water is moving through the system and how much actually ends up in Great Salt Lake. That's been a big issue Fox 13 News has reported on. The state of Utah has spent a lot of money on water conservation measures designed to help the lake, but they haven't been able to guarantee the water we all save is actually getting into the lake. It's exciting to see these devices, more, more data coming in. The state engineer says she <laughs> believes the water is getting to the lake. If we are moving water through a system, we do know it's getting there. These devices do help us determine that and show um, and prove that that quantity is getting there and what quantity it is. They will also help provide better data about the overall health of the Great Salt Lake. But what we're finding with drought, with climate change, um, as we have less flows in the surface water streams, these smaller measurements get more and more critical to understand the functioning of the lake, the functioning of the ecosystem, the functioning of salt, salt balance in Great Salt Lake. The lake has now dropped back down to 2021 levels. That's right before things got really bad and the lake hit a record low. But it's too soon to say if we're headed there again. I think if we have some another good year like we've had the last two years, we could be in pretty good shape, but it's going to depend a lot on what we see this winter and then how people use water. Over the next five years, more of these stream gauges will be installed around the lake and this data will be available publicly for you to see. At Ogden Bay, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.